do it. And it was Cutman, actually. Yes, of course. Um, yeah, it was. We discussed how really catching and nostalgic, you know, how grasping the music is in video games and everything. Oh, yeah. Compared to the days where it's really theatrical, and it was Ray Riley actually. I spoke with on that yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we basically discussed, you know, how 8-bit chip tune music is towards the theatrical stuff. The theatrical stuff is always great, but it's just something about that. The chip tune sound. Yeah, and, the, and, the same, and the same with goes with the graphics and the animation. Mm -hmm. You know, you have that old school, bit, you know, like Pixel. square pixel mm -hmm. type stuff. Almost like Paleolithic um, scriptures and, and drawings from the past. Yeah. It, yeah. I, trust me, I did a paper on that like ages <laughs> ago. Where, All right. Um, art and for our history where mm -hmm. it was, you know, history repeating itself. You know, mm -hmm. the art industry has um, caveman paintings which moved on the Egyptian writing which evolved into the Greco-Roman. Right. Here we have Atari or Pong, which then moved on to so Nintendo, which then moved on to the same Genesis, and so forth and so on. Right. This is a history of repeating itself. So this is you are part of this, you know, grand genre and everything. Mm -hmm. And for you to want to do this, this is freaking phenomenal. Thanks, man. Well, also now, because, you know, people like our age that are, you know, we're you mean age? our age, <laughs> <laughs> getting older <laughs> into our professional Like some of the people don't appreciate over <laughs> No. <laughs> that retro is coming full circle now. Right. You can take a huge game, I mean, even just look at Minecraft. Mm -hmm. It's all pixel based. Right, even exactly. Even, even the blocks, it's three dimensional squares. Even in the, the mobile uh, games that are coming out now, a lot of they're mobile games. hitting nostalgic you know, tricks. Yeah, too. there's uh, amazing, like Cave Story is mm -hmm. pixelated. Another one, one of my favorites. Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight. Yes. That 
is totally a it, it's an eight bit platformer. The graphics are more than eight bit, right. but it, it's an homage to everything that we love Absolutely. as kids, and it has super tight controls. The graphics are beautiful. Mm -hmm. I did a speed painting from it. Check out my YouTube channel. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it was uh, Yacht Club Games, Yacht Club Studios, either one of those. But those guys, it's like, uh, like six or seven of them, yeah. and they put this game out after like a year and a half. Yeah. And, they, they did such an amazing job. And it's funny you said that too, because I was at San Diego uh, at the Nintendo uh, drop, and uh, uh -huh. they had shelf, they were advertising shelf nights hugely over there. Really? And you kind of were the first time, person I was thinking of. I'm like, what's this? Really? I just haven't gone uh, pretty much doing shelf nights. Oh my god! I have a shovel night painting at my house that I forgot to bring! Oh, you're kidding me! This actually is an exclusive for ACMC. This <laughs> seriously is! I live nine blocks. That way and that way. Trust me. I'm going to have to go home and get it. <laughs> oh my god. How did I forget that it's hanging right above my TV in front of me when I wake up every morning? There you go. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. This guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. <laughs> Sorry. Check I, I had to bomb you. Check out Living in 8 Bits. That's Mike. He's the mastermind behind <laughs> We just filmed the other day. But with that said, and that's another thing too. Yeah. Since the last time we've talked, which was over about a year ago, it was like. 2J, was it one 2J, one kind of It was the last one. It was the one in July. Mm -hmm. I had been in Philly for July maybe a month and a half. Yeah, that's yeah. when we met. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's when we met. You were actually my very first interview ever. Yeah, yeah, I remember you telling me that mm -hmm. in the beginning of the interview. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's good that we come full circle now. Exactly. Since then, I've seen you everywhere. I've seen that's what I try to do. The Northeast, mm -hmm. well, where, wherever I could. It, it's hard for me to do shows. Like I get San Diego Comic Con. Like, oh, hey, we heard you did New York Comic Con. We'd like you to come out. Mm -hmm. It's like I, it's so hard to like get all my stuff put it together to fly anywhere. So um, I'm doing Portland Retro Expo though in uh, October, but that's just going to be like small pieces. So that's going to kind of be an experiment. But right. anywhere that I can essentially drive to, mm -hmm. I will do the show. Now, is there any other type of genre that you do, do other than square painting or, uh, or any type With, of within thing? the square painter? Or just or any, like, do you venture into like any type of, because uh, you ventured into some graphic design. Oh, yeah, well, like professionally, that. for my professional career, I'm a graphic designer. I mm -hmm. do a lot of, you know, corporate logo mm -hmm. design, what have you, and you know, annual reports. We're guilty people. Design, <laughs> doing all that kind of stuff. <laughs> but, yeah, I love, I love design. Mm -hmm. but I love pixels and a lot of my design stuff carries over into uh, how I lay out my games because um, everything is I, I, I put everything together in Photoshop first so let's take the big Sonic painting for example where all those clouds are placed and like yeah. where the plane is and everything I, I make it so it's like aesthetically laid out you know, I, I balance out my pieces and all this stuff. yeah and you know my latest if, one if, if any of you guys don't understand graphic design talk that's all right well I'm find sorry. Out I'm sorry. We speak in a different language, right? <laughs> uh, like the Rocky piece that I just did, yeah. that was um, the the sprite of it is from the Sega Master System game, but the whole flag in the background, I, I drew that out myself. The high res photo that I took of the flag. Right, right. And then I brought that into Photoshop and I distilled it, I guess, you know, using a number of features and things, right. making it 8 bit pixels mm -hmm. to work, to work with it and kind of, you know. Did a whole bunch of color, different color designs, and kind of set it into the background. And then also the Final Fantasy VII piece of uh, Sephiroth. The Sephiroth you know, piece. Oh, that was that, that's, that, that's, that's from uh, a rendered cutscene from Final Fantasy VII. The rendered cutscene. Yeah. The, the, the Nova. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's titled, but now I'm here with you, right? When uh, yeah. Sephiroth is going to rip the Nova mm -hmm. machine out. And that was the first one. I was like, you know what? I want to challenge myself. I want to take something, a rendered cutscene from a PlayStation game that has a lot of flat polygonal surfaces that will translate well into shapes that I can pixelate. So, you know, let me do something really iconic. I'm going to do something that everybody knows, Final Fantasy VII. So I did that and, oh man, I did like five different variations of that in Photoshop, all these different sizes of that. I tried to fit it to the canvas and then finally I landed on a size and then it took like, I don't know, a week or hours and hours and hours just photoshopping mm -hmm. it and redrawing things and essentially I had to redraw Sephiroth's face. Right, right. But I'm super happy. And then after that, then I was like, oh no, I have to grit it and I have to physically freaking paint it. Right. But a lot of work went into that one. I learned a lot. I'll be able to do stuff quicker. The Rocky one went a lot faster and I have a lot of other ideas too. But that's the beautiful part about being a graphic designer, being yeah. an artist, and being, you know, learning Photoshop. Because it, to people who think that they know how to use Adobe Creative Suite, 
please go to school. Take classes in this. Yeah. Because don't think that you know just because you know how to put a block in or a square in or a circle yeah. with text and pictures. That is not Photoshop. That is not graphic Filters design. Filters are not that, Photoshop. Yeah. Filters are good where necessary. And anybody that you meet that ever tells you that they're an expert in Photoshop, you call, you call bullshit on that. Right. Because no one's an expert there in that program. There is so much. Photoshop, it, this, Photoshop alone, that yeah. program alone is so deep. It's so there's so, there, even the creator probably hasn't ventured through all the features. No, that I think there was actually involved. my my father was a graphic is a graphic designer. He's retired now. He's a painter, but you know he worked in the creative field at ad agencies for years. And he was at a conference where Adobe was years ago, like back in the nineties. You know, but all, Adobe, I've always wanted to go to one of those. Yeah, so he would get invited for these. He worked for like this big ad agency, uh, Young and Rubicon. He used to get invited out. So anyway, so he walks up to one of the main guys, I forgot which one it was, he walks up to one of the main guys from that works on Photoshop. He asked him, oh, how would you do this and this? The guy's like, I don't know. I didn't work on it. I don't know. The program's so deep. I don't know. Ask that guy who like worked on this and then he'd probably tell you right. one way to do it. And, and then, then you got third else. party, then you got third party people all adding, plugins, adding plugins and all that stuff too. So That adds a whole other aspect to the program. It's yeah, Photoshop is very deep. What, what I what I use for uh, my stuff is very, very basic. I'm essentially just taking sprites that are, mm -hmm. if something's 32 by 32 pixels, yeah. it's 32 by 32 and I just right. blow it up. So I'm working like 9,000% right. blown up and I'm just drawing. 300 DPI, 600. Uh, yeah, well it's usually just 72 because I'm just going to so just the Yeah, okay. that, it doesn't need to be any higher than that, especially because right. on, on Well, on that's Infinite. right, because it's not really, the resolution is not supposed to be no, that high in the first place. it doesn't need to be at all. Again, we're working. talking we're talking graphic design, talking graphic It needs to be set, <laughs> the 72 DPI is a 200, 8 bits, 256 color count. Mm -hmm. So that I don't need anything bigger than that. Same thing with, even with 16 bit. Right. It's fine. When I when I start resing stuff up, it like, it, it it blurs pixels, I have to go back in and redraw and recolor things. Yeah. I'm used to doing that all the time. And it makes sense, and it does make yeah. sense considering what you're doing and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so with that said, just, um, what do, you, do you actually have any free time? And what do you do for your free time? Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> it, 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 it comes and goes. So I do like freelance work. I actually haven't had a freelance job for a little while because mm -hmm. I've been doing you know, so many shows and I had a lot of conventions over the summer that I was working on. Right. But, now I'm also working on uh, YouTube. I'm doing speed painting videos, and I'm also focusing on reviews, focusing on the art and design. I did one of Double Dragon, and I did another one of Contra on the NES. The next one is in the works. It's going to be Halloween related, oh. and it's one of our favorites on NES. You probably kind of guess what game I'm going to do, but it's it's one of them. There's right. a few on the NES, uh, and I have a few other ideas. So that's that's something I just learned how to edit video in June. Fun, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is a lot of fun. My friend, my friend started to feel like an alchemist. Yeah, I'm doing all this different stuff. So I, I uh, my friend gave me a 20 minute crash course in Premiere. Mm -hmm. Like here, go. Here, here's the cut tool. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm borrowing my friend's camera to shoot, you know, any any of my stuff and then do the audio. So, you know, I'm. Another great thing about being a graphic designer is that it allows you to evolve and expand to different things. Yeah, well everything, I mean, just the idea of design, like I use design in my paintings, mm -hmm. and then also when putting a video together, it's where the cuts are, right. and you know, like what pauses are in, the, in, in your speak, and you right. know, and that, that's design also, mm -hmm. designing and you know, something of you know, a video. Right, absolutely. Well, that's it for now, but uh, thank you so much. Yeah, that. absolutely. It was Thanks, been man. phenomenal, man. It's great seeing you. And yeah. by the way, yes, I am coming out here with one of his paintings. <laughs> He's got will, the DuckTales. You, a lot of you know I, how I, I feel about DuckTales. I got it. I got it off the as wall. As soon as I really saw it, cool. I'm like, just take it down. Yeah. Just take it down you there. You got the hookup, too. So, yeah, I'm good glad. luck now, man. Thanks yeah, for It's great seeing you. Congratulations on yeah. everything that you're doing. I look forward to seeing more of what you do. Yes. And uh, let's all keep growing. Yes. So, this is Dex Avery Josiah of ACMG TV with Adam Chu. We're out, man. We're going to have fun. <laughs> yes, later. Peace.